G'day guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a quick upgrade to my car. So, if you've watched the walkthrough of my car, which I'll put here, uh, you would see that I've got an old school PWM solar regulator. Uh, it's just a real cheap one, I had it lying around, but I said I needed to upgrade it, and finally we're getting to that with the Kickass 20 amp uh, MPPT, MPPT solar regulator. God, that was a mouthful. Uh, so yeah, anyway guys, we'll get straight into the install. Alrighty, so we'll quickly run through what's in the box. So, you first open it up, you have the instruction manual on top. Then we have, under that, we've got the controller itself. Uh, and this is a big unit, like, compared to a lot of the different ones you have on the market, this one is massive. Um, let's get it plastic here. And I'll put it next to my hand for comparison, like, that is... It's bigger than my hand, like it'll completely cover my hand if I put my hand behind it. Um, it's not really a bad thing, I guess. It's just, yeah, it's just big. So you gotta make sure you have room to put it somewhere. Um, this one's really good too. You can monitor how many amps are actually going into your battery. Um, and if you put something on the load side, you can monitor how many amps that's using as well. So it's really good. And last but not least in the box, is just the temperature probe that you put into your battery so it charges it at the, um, the right rate for the temperature around it. Anyway, we'll get into the install. And last but not least, I mean, I forgot the template. Um, this is really good if you're mounting it somewhere where you need to put the screw holes in and then like slide it on, because on the back, I don't know if it'll focus it up. It's got like the, um, the style of holes where you can put like a screw and then slide the head up under. Uh, so if you are doing that, they give you a template with all the markings on all four corners to make that really easy for you. And it's also, um, yeah, like it tells you about the heat sink and stuff. So yeah. All right, so I've gone ahead and pulled the old solar controller out. So this is just um, the PWM controller you get with any kind of King's uh, panel that you buy. Um, and just for size comparison, so that's that one. This is the Kickass MPPT uh, charge that I'm putting in. So. Yeah, what would you say, four times bigger? <laughs> it's massive and it's way thicker too. Um, but that doesn't matter as long as you've got the space for it. I'm thinking about putting it there, I'm pretty sure. Um, so I can see all the dials still, still get into the control box fine. So we'll go about there. Uh, and yeah, so anyway, I'll get to wiring this new one up now and I'll come back to you. So I'm going to try and quickly finish this before it gets completely dark. So basically when you do this, you want to connect your battery load up first. And I'm going to connect the positive first. Put that in there. And tighten these down. Now these ones are really good. So first of all, I use a Phillips head, um, which I like instead of the normal pots using bloody flat heads and they're always just annoying. Um, and they've got massive like spots you can put real thick cable in here now this should turn on yep which it did and then i'm going to connect my solar up so i've got these on the right side that i need them let's go strip them back Um, so I'm going to mount it there like that. Uh, I'll pull these wires back through the other side so they're not um, dangling out here. But it's quite a neat install, I think. I'm just going to use this same silicon that you can see all over the wall here. Um, but the black one to secure it, I'm just going to put a little bit. Doesn't need much, that stuff is super strong. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's all connected. Um, it isn't charging at the moment because there's absolutely no sun. It's <laughs> about to go dark and it's really overcast, so the solar panels probably aren't getting anything. Um, but there you have it. I'll quickly mount it up and I'll come back. Alrighty, so it's the next day um, and I've let the silicon dry, so it's nice and secure up there now. I just want to quickly run through a couple of the settings because it's really quite cool, this controller. So this is your main screen here and as you can see, it's got the sun up there. Um, which means that it is like 
uh, the solar panels are like it's receiving the solar input. So then you've got your panel, and that's got arrows going into the battery, which means it's charging the battery. Then you also have arrows here going into the load circuit, which means if you put something on the load, um, you would get power out from there. Now, if we scroll up through the menu, so this is the error menu, uh, there's no errors, so that's fine. Um, this is the settings for the load. So at the moment it's set on 15. I can't remember exactly what they'll do, um, but I'll leave a link in the description if I can find on their website where it says it does. Um, I know it's in the manual, so I might just take a photo and put it up now. Um, it's got a temperature gauge as well. So now this is just picking up temperature from the unit, like ambient temp. It does have a temp sensor, but I'm just gonna leave that um, as is now. It's close enough to the battery anyway. It's just an extra cable to run. Um, so now this is how many amps uh, are going, or how many amp hours that your load has used in the current cycle, I'm pretty sure. Um, and this is how many amp hours the solar has put in in the current cycle. So as you can see, it's put in six amp hours. Now if we go to the load, um, it's saying it's using 0.15 of an amp, but that's just because of like residual current draw. Um, that's the battery voltage and battery percentage. And then you have the amount of amps going in from your solar panels into the battery. So at the moment, the sun is pretty low in the sky. It's about 7.30 in the morning um, and it's a bit overcast. So there's not much like sun on the panel at all and it's still putting in eight amps. So really impressed with how much this is putting in. And now I can actually track um, how much it's putting in as well. So now this screen here is just the voltage of the panel. Um, and then back to the home screen. And now I'll just quickly show you Probably the most important thing to set up would be if you go to your battery voltage screen, press and hold this button here. Now down the bottom here, I'll zoom in so you can see. Try to get it to focus, it might be a bit hard though. All right, I don't know if you can see that properly, but basically they have a little symbol here that flashes up and down. So. Um, this can do five different types of battle, four, and then a user defined setting. So basically this one here is use, as in user, does lithium, does gel batteries, um, that one's solid, so like your AGMs and that kind of thing, and then flooded, which mine are, mine are just cheap flooded deep cycles. So now you press and hold that button, and that confirms it there. So now um, it is set for uh, the type of battery that you have and that's quite important to make sure you do that all right so there you have it guys that was just a really quick and simple install um, and quick walkthrough of the kick-ass uh, 20 amp MPPT solar regulator um, so I hope you guys have enjoyed if you do please make sure to drop a like on the video comment down below and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video cheers